Good morning, church. I pray that this video finds everything well with you and your family uh, today. Uh, we're going to continue our study in 1 Samuel. Uh, today we're going to be looking at chapter 5, but before we do, I just wanted to pause just a moment and just thank everyone that is doing uh, these videos. I, I enjoy each day getting to uh, watch the videos and the different uh, nuggets that each one of uh, the people are gather, gathering out of uh, their video. So uh, thanks to everyone who's putting these together. Uh, church, I hope that you're enjoying them as much as I am. Today we're going to be looking at 1 Samuel chapter 5. Now remember in chapter 4, what just happened yesterday that we read, um, the Ark of the Covenant uh, of the Lord was captured. Israel had it and um, the Philistines came and, and took it. Uh, and so now they are in possession uh, of the ark. Now, uh, as you as you get into chapter five, uh, there's a word. It's Dagon. Uh, that is a god of the Philistines. Uh, it was a god that they worshipped. It was actually a uh, carven image. It uh, had the shape of a human on top and a shape of a fish on on the lower part. And you see uh, that they bring this. Uh, the Ark of the Covenant and place it in front of their God uh, and you see the power of God uh, displayed here uh, against the Philistine God. Uh, it also brings hardship on the city uh, and so the Philistines said oh no uh, so they actually kind of what I picture is kind of you know that old game uh, hot potato they start playing hot potato with the Ark of the Covenant and so uh, one city didn't want it, so they took it to another city. That city got sick, and uh, they didn't want it, so they took it to another city. And uh, that city's like, oh, no, they're trying to make us sick. And so uh, there was this uh, uh, pushing of the Ark of the Covenant around, and each time you'd see the power of God uh, that would come on them. Uh, and finally, at the end of the chapter, you notice they say, hey, let's get this back to the children of Israel. Um and so that's that's where it ends. But this story reminded me of the power of God. Uh, and for us as New Testament uh, Christians, in other words, we're saved after the death of Christ. We, we're living in the church age. The power of Christ isn't in the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, the power of Christ is uh, in Christ and through his Holy Spirit that dwells with inside us. Uh, and it is only in God's people, in God's children, that the power of God um, is is displayed. Uh, we, we have a, a different power in, inside our lives, uh, and that power is to overcome sin. It's to, it's to live a holy and a pure life. Um, other... People that are non-believers don't have that authority, that power with inside them, but yet we do. You see, in these cities, um, the Philistines, uh, they were trying to capture the power of God. Uh, and folks, there's no capturing of the power of God. God grants us that power whenever we surrender our lives to, to Christ. And so today, uh, as you read this chapter, just just think about the power of God that dwells with inside you. Uh, and uh, through his spirit. Uh, I hope you enjoy this study. Look forward to seeing you Sunday. Uh, again, uh, as you come, please be safe uh, with all that's going on. And uh, may God bless and see you soon.